finally the World Series is over so I can get back to watching The Gifted Season 2, Episode 5. So let's get to reacting. That what happened 12 years ago. The hand. Check it out. All right, be ready. Let me know what they can do. Come on. I haven't done anything wrong. Then you won't mind showing some ID. This is harassment. Whoa! What? Damn. What are you doing, man? Pull a guy over for a broken tail light. Beauty driver stuck him with some kind of poison. He died in seconds. I tased this guy so I don't have to tell your wife and your baby girl that you died on my watch. So why don't you think about that the next time you quote the rule book at me? Let me see you. Open your eyes. Probably just got a concussion. Her pupils are a little dilated. Lauren, do you know what day it is? It's Tuesday. Any nausea and dizziness? Fine. Okay. I, I, I think it's just a mild concussion. What happens? Uh, his body's treating some kind of acid. Mm-hmm. Oh, they've been brought some other patients as well from that place? We can't keep this many here. We haven't got enough supplies. We don't have anywhere anyone can sleep. What about the Morlocks? Oh. Who are they? Mutant group. They live underground. Yeah, in the sewers. That's what air freshers for. Where do they <laughs> John doesn't trust her. He helped us. It may not be ideal, but it might be the only thing to keep these people safe. So this is good? After what we did? Andy, you had to do it. It hurt Lauren. I could have killed her. But you didn't. You pushed just as hard as you needed you to get us out of there. And look what we did. No signs of doubt. Hmm. So it's a female. Spoken since she got here. That's a big problem. She's the key to Reva's next step. Your mom feels terrible. She blames herself that you were there. I had to be there. It's just so, so strong. Didn't expect a brother to fight back. I looked him in the eye. Told him you wanted him to come home. And he attacked you. He believes. I can see it in his eyes. He wasn't gonna let anything stop them. I mean, she is a person. You could try treating her like one. Excuse me? You cover her in wires, talk about her like she's a thing. What do you expect? Andy, I think Okay. Andy, talk to her. Places and sometimes there's no coming back. No light down here to absorb either. If I use a bomb of energy, I'm not gonna be able to fight. You know that, right? Um, maybe I can help? No. We find you. Oh, there they go. I can't do a needle decompression if I can't touch it. Uh, Give me a needle, I'll do it. Johnny, you can't. Just tell me what to he do. I'm not gonna let him die. Give me a damn needle. Damn. Between the second and the third rhythm. Right there. Okay. Okay. You'll find that doctor. She got the answers. You strong armed me into being your spy. You wanted information here. List of mutants we've helped with the underground and their powers. Hmm. Do not include taking in refugees from a mental hospital. They have nowhere else to go. Please. All right. I. I'll take them. But first, you're going to help me. Uh, more spy missions or something even bigger than that. Well, hope this talk is helping. Oh. Inside out, huh? The word is, they hit the streets here tomorrow. Well, we are going to be waiting for them. We are going to push back. Our job, send a message. They will not replace us. We're going to meet them. Wonder what's the message? said that some of them were injured they're going to be looking for a place to get treated you go to all the mutant friendly clinics hospitals you find the fugitives you turn them in and you show everybody that the purifier is a part of the solution 
No, he helping him out. That'll work. No, I don't think it will. I know it will. What do you say? Do you want to get out of here? Yeah. I'd like that. Yo, this show is shipping them hard. So what's up with the eye patch? You get the wrong end of a sharp stick. <laughs> I lost my eye when I manifested as a teenager, so the kids were beating me up when it happened. Damn. Well, they, up, they didn't know you were a mutant. They weren't mutant haters, just good old fashioned racists. Anyway, I discovered I could absorb and redirect energy through this. All right, what are we getting? Why are we here? We're gathering supplies. Add food, baby formula. Normally, we send groups out on the surface to take what we need. It's dangerous work. Figured you brought us more mouths to feed, you can help us feed them. The inner circle's war with humans? It's just a recipe for senseless slaughter. And the mutant underground's fight for some pipe dream of coexistence is almost as bad. I don't believe in dreams. I believe in cornflakes. <laughs> Really? No, the purifiers, they're coming. You need to leave now or I'm gonna call the police. I said open the damn door. Come on, you had to show the gun. Damn, come on, man. I was having fun and I wasn't thinking. I started dancing. I just created these arms. I was charged with inciting a riot. Damn. The trial, though, one juror wouldn't convict me because the lights aren't dangerous. So they tried something else. Diagnosed me with a manic disorder. I realized I could forgive them or I could spend the rest of my life angry. Okay. So I forgave them. So hopefully you're going to forgive your wifey and the inner circle what they did, hopefully. Welcome to stay here. On one condition. Those of you who choose to remain with us must take the mark. Hmm. Wait, hold on. Gotta brand themselves. You're asking them to mutilate themselves? Those who have visible mutations are exempt. Down here, we embrace our mutant nature. We do not hide it. That, that's incredible. That's it's interesting. Most people can move things up, down, sideways. For me, there's another direction. Hell. Oh, uh, she turned the car inside out. Don't be tempted now. Don't give in to peer pressure. And he does it. Is that right? Because on the news it said that one of the escaped mutants secretes some type of acid. Mm -hmm. Looks about right to me. Where is he? I don't know what you're talking about. Doctor, you're lying to us. No, I'm not. Come on, bro. Stop. Gotta get him to a hospital, all right? That's why I have to go out there. And do what? Kill them all? A bunch of purifiers get slaughtered in a mutant friendly clinic, and then what? This place is gone. True. Hey, hey! That's enough. Now, what are you doing? That man is a traitor to his species. Bro, shall we take him out back and. <laughs> we gotta go. My name, Clarice. Clarice is a name for a human. Tell me this. What can you do? You know what I can do? Tell me. I portal. I uh, blink from place to place. There's your name, Blink. 
Oh, they're a thing now. People should stop shipping uh, Andy and Esme now, I guess. Okay. There's the mark. So, not gonna lie, this was an okay episode of Marvel's The Gift. They're probably gonna be one of my least favorite episodes if I'm gonna rank episodes I've seen thus far this season. Probably gonna be my lowest, but nonetheless, it was still entertaining for starters. It didn't prolong the, okay, is Laura gonna wake up this episode? Is she gonna wake up next week's episode? Nope. First thing, she woke up, you know, but she still had like a minor concussion, but... She had to say one thing, Andy doesn't feel like coming home at all. He was perfectly fine in the inner circle and defending them. Is that going to stop, you know, Laura still continuing to go after them and Caitlyn, you know, Reed? Nope, <laughs> that's not really going to stop them. But again, just hearing it and just time and time again, Andy's perfectly okay over there. Like, really should, like, Sparks should be going through some brain cells. And, like, you know what? Maybe we should just wait until he wants to come home and then we should, you know, start figuring out a plan. I think that should be the most logical reason when it comes to Andy. The moment he, you know, sends out a message or like a dream, like, okay, you guys now have to like get me out of here, then go. Because then it'll be like more of a, you know, successful mission because Andy's willing to come along then. So hopefully that will like pan out within, you know, the next... Who knows how many episodes. Then we, you know, they tell us who in the world that they took from that hospital. The inner circle, most most importantly, Reva really needed because she is a crucial part of the next plan. You know, which this mission that we still have not yet seen. So it's like, here we are in episode, what, five now? So it's like, okay, so... Is it going to be episode 10, 12, a finale, a second, to, what, which episode <laughs> are we going to see this damn mission? Because at this point, I keep on saying week after week or so, hopefully the mission's next week. Hopefully the mission's next week. I will not, if the mission's next week, I'll be shocked. If not, don't even expect until at least episode 8 or 9 or so, you know. Because at this point, that Esme episode, I'm guessing that number will probably be the same episode as the mission, in my opinion. If not, who knows? I don't normally watch the trailers for, you know, upcoming episodes, so it's like it's going to be a mystery to me. But we found out, chick name is Rebecca. I have no idea who she is in the comics, so if any comic book, you know, nerds out there and be like, oh yeah, she's from the comics, thanks for letting me know. But <laughs> for those like me who are just casuals, <laughs> I have no idea. But apparently her ability, you know, which is going to be crucial to Reva's plan, is turning things inside out. And I do question at one point, it's like, Okay, could she turn someone inside out and pretty much kill them? Because if so, she hates cops. I thought that was going to be like one of the things where she was like going to go over besides the whole car thing. Was she like going to turn a cop inside out or something? But I don't think Fox would go that dark. <laughs> Even though this ain't, you know, Gotham, which is on Fox. So I would expect a scene like that maybe could happen. But I don't know if they'll go that extreme though. But it seems that, you know, Rebecca and Andy are a thing. So those who were pretty much shipping them in my comment section about, you know, Andy and Esme, that ain't gonna happen. Sorry. <laughs> but hopefully this relationship can go out though, because it seems like, you know, Rebecca peer pressuring Andy, I think at that time he was just doing it so again she can you know go along with helping out Reeve on the plan. But who knows? Cause there was a bit of a hesitation before, you know, he blew up that car. So it was like, wait, what are we doing? Like do we really have to do this and such? So, I don't know. Maybe there'll be another point within this season where she's going to tell him to do something. And will there be another hesitation? And then there'll be a point where it's like, yeah, this inner circle ain't really for me. Or at least you, Rebecca, ain't for me. And uh, hopefully he won't do something like that. Because, like, it's interesting how Polaris was like, you know... She just got out of that hospital. You don't know. She needs time to adjust. But yet when she went outside, granted, she just like, you know, turned the car inside out. But that's just like one thing. So it's like it didn't become that dramatic to the point that she was attacking people. So I don't know if that was kind of like foreshadowing later on within the season that she might end up attacking people. So that could be, I don't know. That's my, my guess. But we get to Jace. Oh my gosh, these damn purifiers at this point. It's like the purifiers... 
really see like more of like the villains of this season more than the inner circle at sometimes. Like, there are times when the people in the comment section be like, yeah, I'm teaming up with the inner circle. I can be like, I can see why you're doing that. And some people are like, I'm still, you know, you and underground still see it. But I don't see really anyone just rooting for these damn purifiers. Like you hear about them and you know, they're just, you know, trying to like help out with the quote mutant problem, whatever, you know, but their means are normally violence. And Jason's like, hey, you guys uh, stop doing that violence. If you want people to start joining us, like tone that down. But the moment they were going into that hospital, this one dude with the freaking gun, it's like, dude, chillax. Even at one point when he was like, okay, this human was pretty much helping out the new and underground. He was like, yo, well, let's just take him to the back and like make him talk. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, were you going to like torture him or something or beat him up? Or even to one point questioning, maybe even start, you know, shooting him or something. Because at one point it's like, wait a minute, why you got a gun, bro? Jace was like, stop the violence and thing. And even like one point, I'm surprised he didn't tell him like, leave the gun behind or, you know, don't bring it or anything. And he was like, wasn't questioning it that much. So it's like, hopefully I'm thinking that they're going to do like a redemption arc for Jace. It kind of seems that route. But if not, he kind of like becomes like a, you know, hardcore purifier. That's like, wow, that's just even like more crazy because... <laughs> We already saw like the what was it twelve years ago flashback again. We 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 kind of already can speculate that before you know the death of like Jace's daughter, he was kind of at least cool with mutants, or at least not that you know savage as he was you know in current day. So just seeing like it was pretty much of a shadowing there when he was like with his partner, and he was like, dude, you know, don't give like these mutants like a second thought because you never know what can happen. Because his partner, I believe his partner was like killed, or at least a mutant did something to his partner. Which, you know, I think, yeah, he did kill him or something happened. I gotta, like, re again, rewatch it. Again, first <laughs> first watch. So, there was one point where, after that moment, he started treating mutants differently. And pretty much, I was, you know, foreshadowing what was going to happen to Jay's character. Because the moment where his daughter died, you know, he started becoming a savage. <laughs> pretty much mutants, you know, just joining the sensitive services. And now, he's with the purifier. So... Oh my gosh, hopefully they can do the redemption arc with him. If not, and he, you know, becomes like a full ongoing purifier. Yeah, I'm no longer cool with you, Jace. <laughs> like, I always have so much high hopes for you, man. But I don't know. I just don't know. But hell, I think we're all going to start calling like Blink Blink now. Because I know it was like her, was it her, like, her government name is like Clarice. And I don't think anyone in this show honestly calls her that. <laughs> Like Blink, they normally call her Khalees or so, but I normally like reviews and reactions and things. I always gonna call her Blink to the point that it's just the norm with me. But now I have to like rewatch a few episodes and be like, okay, is everyone always keep on calling her Khalees? Or is that a moment in time where someone does not say Blink or so until it's just this episode where now it's gonna be like her name now? Her name is Blink, and I wonder with that conversation that she was having, it's like, okay, will she, you know, say? I'm cool with you guys, but I'm going to be chilling with, you know, the Morlock. So it's so much things could potentially happen with this season. I cannot actually wait for it. Like or dislike the video. Kind of hope you guys saw the episode. And hey, if you're new, please subscribe. I am Fandom D. Singh, and I am signing off.